my Kilapitas, and I am currently a college student. They say education is the foundation for a better future. But a lot of people ask, is it getting an education expensive? Yes, it can get quite expensive, but I have some great news for you. If you are willing to study well and discover more of the things that you can do, then there are a lot of ways that you can get an education for free, just like how I did through the DOST SEI scholarship. If you want to know more about it, then keep on watching this video as my friends, co-scholars, and I talk about the perks of being a DOST SEI scholar. Sino ang DOST SEI? Ano nga ba ang kanilang mga ginagawa? Samahan nyo ko at tuklasin natin. A service agency of the Department of Science and Technology, the Science Education Institute is mandated to develop a scientifically and technologically literate citizenry and accelerate the development of science and technology human resources needed for social economic development in collaboration with the DOSD regional offices. DOSD SEI is engaged in developing, implementing, and supporting programs to promote science and technology culture in order to create a pool of future scientists and engineers for the country. With its flagship program, the Science and Technology Undergraduate Scholarships. Aiming to stimulate and entice talented Filipino youth to pursue lifetime productive careers in science and technology, these scholarship programs ensure a steady and adequate supply of science and technology human resources needed to steer the Philippines towards national progress. The DOST SCI scholarship has two types, namely the RA 7687 or the Republic Act number 7687, also known as the Science and Technology Scholarship Act of 1994. It provides scholarships to talented and deserving students whose family socio-economic status do not exceed the set cut-off values of certain indicators. Qualifiers must pursue priority fields of study in the basic sciences, engineering, other applied sciences, and science and mathematics teaching. The second one is MERIT, the DOST SCI Merit Scholarship Program, formerly known as the NSDB or NSTA Scholarship under RA number 2067, is awarded to students with high aptitude in science and mathematics and are willing to pursue careers in the fields of science and technology. Since the agency looks forward to a quality education that could help in the acceleration of the development of science and technology human resources, those who would like to avail of the scholarship should enroll to a four or five year Bachelor of Science degree program in any of these priority fields of study. These courses should also be enrolled at a state university or state college or any private higher education institution that is recognized by the Commission on Higher Education as Center of Excellence or Center of Development or with AFAAP Level 3 accreditation. What will you get when you qualify for a DOSC SEI scholarship? In a regular academic year, you will have tuition and other school fees, book allowance, premium group health and accident insurance, transportation allowance, monthly living allowance, thesis allowance, and graduation clothing allowance. Oops! Should I also mention the friends and the family we earn and all the fun learning experiences in store for us while we are enjoying all these privileges? Look, here are some. Number one, you must be a natural-born Filipino citizen. 
number two. For RA7687, poor, talented, and deserving student who belongs to a family whose socioeconomic status does not exceed the set values of certain indicators. If the family's socioeconomic status exceeds the set values of certain indicators, then you qualify for the merit program. Number three, you must be a member of the top 5% of the non-STEM strand of senior high school graduating class or you should be a member of the STEM strand senior high school graduating class. Number four, you must be a resident of the municipality as attested by the barangay. Number five, you must be of good moral character and in good health. Number six, you do not have any post-secondary or any undergraduate units. Number seven, you are qualified if you have not taken any previous DUSD SEI examination or you have taken the DUSD SEI undergraduate examination but did not qualify for the scholarship or you were a qualifier of the DUSD SEI undergraduate scholarship but did not avail of the award. And lastly, number eight, you must qualify for the s and scholarship examination. For increase and more information about the scholarship, we have our contact information below. Now that you know it, it is time to take your part. What are you waiting for? Be one of us. Be the SEI Scholars. Scholars for the Nation. Science for the people!